All right, so you're a homeowner, and just like us, your garage walls were built right on slabs. So after the snow melts in the spring, you're getting water. I got a really fast, quick, easy, cheap way, perfect way to seal that up for you. Stay tuned. All right, dudes, here we are. Future Crony Studio, baby. We've got a bit of work ahead of us. We're gonna try to get the concrete done tonight. But yeah, baby. Boom. All right, so we, at last minute decision, decided to uh, caulk the inside of the uh, the wall, the, you know, the exterior wall here. Just to uh, add a little extra layer of sealant. This is the uh, Chemtron. Whether or not it adheres to concrete or affects concrete, we'll have to do that research later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's good on concrete for sure. Yeah, baby. Whoop, whoop. So you can see we just drilled in the rod so that we can fasten our bottom track to that so it, it is set in the concrete so it's a beautiful idea we just pre laid out where the track is going to go and we put the rod there we'll drill the holes out of the track and then we'll bolt them on it's going to be beautiful just wait and see guys i can't wait to show you the whole thing 15 mil rebar we drilled it in uh every two feet and uh the the rod in the ends in two inches and in the centers Boys, let's recap. <clears throat> let's look, look how sharp this is. All right, I banged it a little bit when I was peeling the, the forms, but it's a lot harder now. Um, I got the rods in place for where the track goes. So <clears throat> the long track will go this way, and I'm gonna put a small track on the end, so I got one just in the middle. And then I'm gonna drill holes and pin bolt them into this concrete. Remember, we got 5 8 15 millimeter rebar uh, underneath holding this all together. Every two feet, there's uh, two and a half inches of, uh, you know, with an uh, inch, in, inch and a half in and an inch out of uh, 5 8 rebar. So this is an inch and a half high. So a half inch from the top of the, the the concrete here so it's strong man it's it is not going anywhere <clears throat> it is completely formed to the to the pad below so i'm um, pretty pretty happy with how it turned out we used the light gauge steel angle okay it was kind of funny because we pin it bolt we pin bolted it down with uh three sixteenths pin bolts all right very 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 tiny pin bolts it was beautiful the the track itself was an inch and a half the top plate here the sorry the the sill plate here it's the treated wood it's an inch and a half thick right so we wanted to just bring it up is all we need is a, a little bit because it's just minimal minimal leakage right um and if you have more leakage then you can go higher if you'd like but you know, we cocked the inside of the plate all the way around with the trim clad, and then we did the concrete. So, and then we're gonna we're gonna use a, a foam gasket 
for our steel stud um, bottom plate, and then we're gonna caulk it again. We're gonna poly and caulk it all again. But it turned out beautiful. You couldn't have asked for a better job. Right at the doors is perfect. You see that? That's gorgeous. So the rod starts two inches in from the ends, uh, and then uh, yeah, and in, in, in the middle. And we're going to pin bullet it down. You can see right here, this is where a 10 foot will end. A 10 foot piece of track will end here, right? And then so then the cut will uh, will be from here to there, right? So it'll have two rods as well. So I planned it out, I already laid it out, I checked it all out, and I laid it out on the, the steel angle that we were using. So yeah, I'm glad we did the rod because I don't think I'm gonna pin bolt this down for a while. It still looks a little wet, but it's good enough I can, I can use the rod to start framing. <clears throat> but look at how sharp the corners turned out. See how sharp that is? It's beautiful, the edge is beautiful. And the, the thing is with the, with the steel angle, before the concrete was in, it was looking a little wavy, but when the concrete was poured, it all stiffened and tightened up straight. So it, uh, that is a beautiful thing about steel, guys. It's straight. I didn't have to oil it or nothing like that. When I came to tear the forms, all I had to do was pop the pins. It was so easy. It was so easy, right? <clears throat> but yeah, it turned out really, 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 really good. Uh, we, will, we, we will not have any more water issues in here. So the, the ground will be forever dry. Whew. So yeah, now it's time to start framing the walls. So I'm, I'm gonna start laying out the track and planning to, I'm gonna pre-drill the holes for the rod, where the rod is. And then I can, uh, I might come back with the, the, I have to come back with the grinder and clean up the tops of the rods so I can get the bolts on, the nuts on, sorry. Uh, I got washer and nuts, they're 3 8 rod, okay? It's 3 8 rod. So, yeah. Woo, and this is the concrete we use, right? We just mixed it in a bucket with the paddle mixer. We did burn that drill out, but uh, yeah, we just used the, the co concrete mix, quickcrete, right from Home Depot, man. Um, I think for, I, I spent $130 at Home Depot and I got a bit, a 5 8 bit for, that, for the SDS to put the rebar in which was $30 itself. So I am a hundred bucks on concrete and I got five bags, five bags left over, you know? So, uh, yeah, so very, very, very well worth it. You know, we only used five pieces of angle, light gauge, just standard steel stud angle. That was our form, <laughs> right? We just pin bolted it down and then, yeah, that was our form. So easy, guys. So easy. Welcome to Construction Cronies Studio, baby. Here it is. Uh, we're getting started, finally. Um, got the materials, got the money uh, secured, so we're good to go. Um, so yeah, be watching uh, for updates as we build. Uh, I'm gonna try to get it to at least drywall before um, we go, uh, before August, because I'll be um, taking three weeks off in August, and then when we come back, we'll tape it. And then yeah, get it painted, get it uh, ready for winter, and yeah, hopefully we'll be moved in before the snow falls this year. Alright guys, stay tuned.